Hello children, welcome to SR Concepts. I am Ravi Verma and in this video I am going to start the chapter number 6. The title of the chapter is Combustion and Flame. So dear children, first of all think about a few fuels like wood, coal, charcoal, petrol, diesel, CNG and LPG. So we use different types of fuels. We see that some fuels burn very easily on giving a little heat only. They burn very rapidly, very easily and some fuels uh, burn uh, slowly and they need a very large amount of heat to burn. For example, we if we try to burn wood, we need to heat for a very long time. It uh, We need to heat it for a very long time, then only it burns and it burns slowly. It burns slowly. Okay. Another thing we need to think that you see that a candle burns with a flame, but coal does not produces, produce a flame, right? So, why is this so that candle is burning with a flame but coal is just producing glow but coal is not producing flame so this is all we are going to discuss in this chapter first of all there is a question in your mind what is combustion so combustion is actually burning so when something burns that means it is undergoing combustion in class 7th you have done the activity of burning magnesium ribbon you know that when magnesium burns, it reacts with oxygen, reacts with oxygen. And during this process, it burns, it undergoes combustion and produces heat. And not only this, it also produces a flame that is white in color. So it produces light also, it produces light also. So what is combustion? Let us understand what is combustion or burning. Combustion is a chemical reaction in which a substance reacts with oxygen, reacts with oxygen and gives off heat. This is called combustion. This is the definition written here. A chemical process in which a substance reacts with oxygen to give off heat is called combustion now the substances which can burn which can undergo combustion are called combustible substances and they are also called fuels so if we talk about paper then paper can also be called a fuel because paper undergoes combustion and paper is is a combustible substance okay now the fuel may be of three types solid liquid and gas and sometimes when any fuel burns whenever any combustible substance burns it may produce light also that may be in the form of flame or simply a glow there are certain other substances which do not produce flame okay now bujo is thinking that food is a fuel for our body it was told to us that food is fuel for our body really food is a fuel okay so here you see that uh, Pahali is thinking that uh, rightly food is broken down by the reaction with oxygen in our body and it produces heat so in our body when our cells react food with oxygen and produce heat then it is also combustion it is also combustion so we can think that combustion is going on even inside our cells now if we want to know which substances are combustible and which are non-combustible, we will have to collect these materials. Okay, so we will try to burn wood and it will burn. That means it is combustible. Paper will also burn. It is combustible. But iron nail, iron nail does not burn. That means it is non-combustible. Kerosene burns. It is combustible. Stone does not burn. It is non-combustible. Straw burns charcoal burns majestic burns but glass does not burn it is non-combustible substances now as we know that combustion is a process in which the material in which the substance reacts with oxygen right so we know that for burning or combustion oxygen is very important so we will perform in activity number 6.2 from this activity we will come to know that for burning or combustion of anything air is essential because air will give oxygen so if we want to burn something we will have to supply oxygen to it otherwise it will not burn so if we want to burn a candle we will take a candle in this activity and we will put a glass chimney that is open from both sides from upside and downside also right so we'll put we'll put a glass chimney and in the first case, we will take the wood blocks, right? Wooden sticks. 
and the chimney is resting on the wooden stick wooden sticks so in this case you will see that air can enter from downside because there is a gap and from upside also so because air is available you see that in the first case the candle will keep burning but in the second case you see that the chimney is resting directly on the bottom that means there is no gap from where air will enter so in this case there will be partial supply of oxygen means little supply of oxygen so in that case you will see that the candle flickers and it produces smoke in the third case what we will do we will keep the chimney like this means directly at the bottom and we will cover it with a plate right when we will cover it with a plate that may be a glass plate or metal plate right you will see that air can neither enter through upside nor from downside then finally the when the candle is burning it will consume all the oxygen and once the air supply is cut there will be no oxygen and because of this you will see when you put the plate the candle will stop burning so from this activity we see that for burning enough amount of oxygen is very important now now we talk about sun sun is also produce uh, sun also produces sun also produces heat and light so uh, what is the source of this heat and light actually in sun there is no combustion but yet heat and light is being produced the heat and light in sun is being produced by nuclear reactions which we do not to discuss we need not to discuss here we will discuss the nuclear reactions in the higher classes now if we talk about activity number 6.2 you will see that you can extinguish the fire of uh, fire of coal also if you take a piece of coal that is burning which is producing uh, which is producing glow right if you take it on a tawa iron plate and you cover it with a glass jar you will see that after some time the coal stops burning right this is again because of sub cutting of the supply of air so from this discussion we come to know that if we want to stop the fire of something if you want to stop burning of some material the best way will be to cut the supply of oxygen and this is what we do when a person's clothes catch fire so when a person's clothes catch fire we cover it with a thick blanket so that the supply of oxygen is stopped supply of air is stopped and this is how the 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 clothes stop burning so we can prevent someone from burning by putting uh, a a blanket around it now another concept we are going to start here now Uh, we have discussed what is combustion and we discussed that for combustion oxygen is very important now another concept that is of ignition temperature we are going to learn you have to think about that a matchstick does not burn at room temperature but it burns when you rub it on the sides of the matchbox so when you rub when you rub matchstick on the sides of a matchbox right then by due to rubbing certain heat certain amount of heat is produced and the temperature of the head of the match stick increases and then it starts burning but only a little heat is produced and because of this little heat only the match stick starts burning but if we talk about burning of a paper suppose this is a piece of paper right and you want to burn it you will what you will see you will bring a burning match stick near it a burning match stick near it and the paper will start burning okay now we talk about wood suppose this is a wood piece right and uh, this is a burning match stick if you bring a burning match stick near it will it start burning no it will not start burning even if you keep the burning match stick for a very long time near the wood the wood will not start burn start burning what do you come to know from this discussion you know that match stick needs very little heat for burning because it starts burning only on rubbing on the side of a match box in the same way the paper needs a little bit more heat for burning for starting for catching fire but wood needs a very large amount of heat to start burning that means match stick 
पेपर एंड वुड दीज ऑल कैच फायर ऑन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मिनिमम टेम्परेचर कैच स्टिक सॉरी मैच स्टिक कैचेज फायर एट अ वेरी लोअर टेम्परेचर पेपर कैचेज फायर एट सर्टेन हायर टेम्परेचर बट वुड कैचेज फायर एट अ वेरी हाई टेम्परेचर ओके सो हेयर कम्स द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इग्निशन टेम्परेचर सो वॉट इज अ इग्निशन टेम्परेचर यू नो दैट एवरीथिंग बर्न्स एट अ सर्टेन टेम्परेचर स्टार्ट बर्निंग और कैच इज फायर एट अर्टन सर्टन टेम्परेचर सो दिस टेम्परेचर इज कॉल्ड इग्निशन टेम्परेचर द लोएस्ट टेम्परेचर एट विच अ सब्सटेंस कैच इज फायर इज कॉल्ड इग्निशन टेम्परेचर ओके सो सो कंबशन अ कंबस्टेबल सब्सटेंस कैन नॉट कैच फायर और कैन नॉट वर्न एज लॉन्ग एज इट्स टेम्परेचर इज लोअर दैन इट्स इग्निशन टेम्परेचर ओके दिस मीन्स दैट सपोज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बर्न वुड देन इफ यू आर इंक्रीजिंग टेम्परेचर देन दैट्स ओके बट इफ द टेम्परेचर इज लोअर दैन द इग्निशन टेम्परेचर द वुड विल नॉट बर्न बट एज सुन एज द टेम्परेचर विल बी एज हाई एज द इग्निशन टेम्परेचर राइट वेन द टेम्परेचर विल रीच इट्स इग्निशन टेम्परेचर देन द वुड विल स्टार्ट बर्निंग ओके नाउ यू सी दैट कैरोसिन बर्नस when you give a very little amount of heat but wood if we talk about wood then wood burns when you give a large amount of heat that means the ignition temperature of kerosene is lower means it starts at a lower temperature it starts burning at a lower temperature but if we talk about wood then its ignition temperature is very high because it needs a large amount of heat to burn okay so one thing is very clear that it is essential for a substance to reach its ignition temperature in order to burn so if you want to burn something if you want to burn something then you will have to increase its temperature up to its ignition temperature so from the activity number 6.4 you will learn the concept of ignition temperature very well you will take two paper cups and two burning uh two burning candles or one burning candle so when you will bring a paper cup without water you will see that when you as soon as you bring the paper cup near the candle flame it will start burning okay but in the second case you will fill water 50 ml water in the paper cup and then when you will bring it to the um, burning uh, candle right when you will bring it to the uh, flame of the candle you will see that the paper cup is not burning so in the first case in the first case where paper paper cup starts burning actually all heat of the candle is being transferred is being absorbed by the paper and its temperature increasing to its ignition temperature that's why it starts burning but in the second case the paper does not burn because the heat given by the candle is being absorbed by the water so the heat of the candle is transferring from paper to water that is kept inside it by the process of conduction right and this is why the heat is not being kept in paper the heat is not being kept in paper it is getting transferred to water and this is why the temperature of the paper does not increase up to its ignition temperature and this is why the paper does not burn so in this the second case we can even boil water if we keep it over the flame only okay now let's talk about a very inter interesting thing a very interesting thing uh that is match stick that is match stick so dear students actually even 5000 years ago pieces of pine wood dipped in sulfur were used as match stick in egypt but around 200 years ago right uh the match stick was developed but at that time the head of the match stick contained these four things one is antimony trisulfide then potassium chlorate white phosphorus glue and starch so 1 uh, 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 five things there are total five things one is antimony trisulfide potassium chlorate white phosphorus glue and starch these all things were there in the head of the match stick but 
later it was known that the phosphorus is very harmful substance for the people who are working and the for the people who are using the majestic so gradually the concept the composition of the majestic was changed nowadays the majestic which we use have a different setup the majestic head contains two things one is antimony trisulfide and the other is potassium chlorate but this is the majestic box suppose right this is the majestic box so the side of the majestic box contain two things right it contains powdered glass and red phosphorus so this contain pow powder glass and red phosphorus and the head contain antimony trisulfide and potassium chlorate so when you rub the majestic head with the side of the match box what happens that the red phosphorus the red phosphorus gets converted into white phosphorus on rubbing okay so when you rub the red phosphorus of the the match box con converts into white phosphorus immediately right and this immediately reacts with potassium chlorate which is present in the majestic head right it reacts with potassium chlorate and uh, produces enough amount of heat for the burning of antimony trisulfide okay so when you rub the match stick with the side of the match box what happens that the the red phosphorus in the side of the match box converts into white phosphorus it produces heat and because of heat um and uh, white phosphorus then the white phosphorus reacts with uh, the potassium chlorate of the match stick right produces heat and because of heat the antimony trisulfide of the match stick head starts burning so this is how the match stick burns lastly another thing for this video we are going to learn that is in flammable substances some substances like lpg and petrol burn very easily because they have a very low ignition temperature so you see that even a small lighter can burn uh, lpg because the ignition temperature of lpg is very low in the same way petrol burns very easily even there is a burning match stick near about the petrol then the petrol will start burning because the temperature ignition temperature of the petrol is very low so the substances what is the definition of infl inflammable substances the substances which have very low ignition temperature and which can catch fire very easily and which burn with a flame are called inflammable substances the substances having very low temperature ignition temperature and burning very rapidly with a flame they are called inflammable substances and the examples of lpg petrol diesel cng they all are inflammable substances so dear students thank you for watching this video and if you think that the video is helpful for you please like it right subscribe to the channel and you may uh, you may forward this to others also if you think thank you